Welcome, friends, to Daily Moments of Inspiration. The Bible says this. It says that John was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. And John heard a voice. And this voice said, John, come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And the Bible says that John said he was immediately in the Spirit. And behold, he saw a throne in heaven, and one sat upon that throne. And he said that he that sat upon the throne was like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight, like unto an emerald. And the Bible speaks about how that there were 24 elders sitting around that throne. And it also speaks about how there were four beasts, like living creatures, that were round about that throne. Likened unto a lion, and a calf, and a man, and an eagle. And when we think about our Lord Jesus Christ and how that he was like unto the lion of the tribe of Judah and like a calf of sacrifice and like a the son of man, the Bible says, and like the eagle that flies to great heights, higher than any creature, any bird uh, that, that God has created and has the vision like none other creature has. We think about our Lord Jesus Christ and the Word of God. And we think about these things, and as we consider this, the Bible says that they all give glory and honor, and they give thanks to Him that sat upon the throne that lives forever and ever. And day and night they said, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And then it says, the Bible says, they fall down before him that sat upon the throne, and they worshiped him that lived forever and ever. And they cast their crowns before the throne, and they said this, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. You know, when we think about all the wonderful creation of God and the holy angels and all those that continually sing praise and honor and glory to Him, and the mighty angels that sing and give honor and praise unto Him, and that every creature on earth should sing and give praise and honor unto Him. And I think that in, this, in the creation itself, even the even the mountains give praise unto God. And even the hills give praise unto God. And I believe even the very creatures that God has made, the animals in the field, that they give praise in their way unto God. And friends, I feel like we should give praise unto our God because we are His creation. We're His servants. We love Him. And He has made us kings and priests unto God forever and ever. He's made us sons of God. That's something to praise God for. And the Bible says that they all sang a new song in heaven. And they said, Thou art worthy to take the book. What book? The book of life. The book of redemption. The book of the Lamb. The book of salvation. And they were worthy. The one that sat up, the one that walked up to the throne, which was the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, he is worthy to take that little book out of the hand of him that sat upon the throne and to open the seals and to loose the seals of the book of life, hallelujah, that we might be able to find redemption and that we might have life eternal. And he opened that little book. And the Bible says that they said, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and every tongue and every people and every nation. And thou hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And then John said, I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beast of the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. Oh my, if God would only open our eyes that we might be able to see the invisible world. And if we were able to see the invisible world, we would see the spirits which are in this invisible world which is right at hand. It's just a dimension away. Just a dimension away. And there are multitude, millions and millions of holy angels that praise God. And he says, And I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne. The number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, 
Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that's in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And let all the creation say, Amen. Praise God, it is true. Oh, how much better is it that our voice should proclaim the glory of God and that we should speak only that which is giving glory unto God and not that which is pertaining to the lower side of life, but that which pertains to the higher side of life, which is Jesus Christ. You know, you've heard about the man, possibly John and Charles Wesley, the evangelist of the 1700s. And how Charles, which was the brother of John Wesley, that spread the great Wesleyan movement of revival, which spread around the world. And as we think about the songs that, that this man, Charles Wesley, wrote, he wrote over, he wrote over 6,000 songs of praise unto, unto God. And he, he was recalling, he was recalling something that had happened which was an experience that he received when he was born again, when he received God's Holy Spirit on the inside and gave his life to him. And in an hour, in a day, in a moment, he received the wonderful Spirit of God and, and felt the lightheartedness and the wonderful salvation and the wonderful peace of God that passes all understanding at that moment, recalling his conversion experience. And he heard this man, and this man was a Christian of that day of the 1700s, and this man said this. He said that, he said, this man said that if he only had a thousand tongues, if he only had a thousand tongues, that he might be able to use with all those thousand tongues to give praise unto the Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. And he thought about that, and it inspired him to write a song. And so on the date of his conversion, on the date remembering his conversion, which was 11 years after his conversion, but on the very date that he gave his heart to God, as to 11 years later on that day, he wrote this song in memory of that. He said, Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise. The glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. Jesus, the name that calms our fears and bids our sorrows cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. He breaks the power of canceled sin, He sets the prisoners free. His blood can make the foulest clean, His blood availed for me. He speaks, and listening to his voice, new life the dead receive. The mournful broken hearts rejoice, the humble poor believe. Hear him, ye deaf. His praise, give praise to him, ye dumb. Ye, your, your loosened tongues employ, and ye blind. Behold, your Savior come, and leap ye lame for joy. My gracious Master and my God, is he prays unto God, and he says, Assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of thy name. And so as we consider this wonderful thing that God has done for us, and that our tongues might give praise unto God, remember, he is worthy because he was slain, and he has redeemed us to God. He has redeemed us to God by His blood out of every kindred and people and tongue and nation. And then it says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing and blessing and honor and glory and power be unto Him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Hallelujah! He's worthy to be praised, friends. Let all the earth proclaim that. And you know what, friends? Let us do the same thing. Let us praise God. 
when we awake in the morning? Praise God. Give honor to God. Praise God. When you lay down your head upon your bed at night, upon your pillow, praise God. Give thanks unto Him. And when you awake in the night, give praise unto God. Give thanks unto God like the holy angels. And friends, God will do something in your life that will inspire you and put a joy in your heart. And it will be such a wonderful incense arising up to the throne of God as God receives your prayers and receives your praise. Hallelujah. Praise be unto God. May God bless you so much.